Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make tacos al pastor. This is one of my favorite ways to eat tacos. It is so good and actually really easy to make. To start, you'll want to thinly slice some pork. You can use pork butt, which is what I'm using today, or if you want a leaner option, you could also use pork loin. So slice this all up. You'll need about two to three pounds and you want it nice and thin. Then you'll transfer all of the sliced meat into a mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna make our marinade. First up, you'll need to slice a pineapple. You can see I've cut mine up into spears. We're gonna use some of it for the marinade and we're gonna grill the rest as a topping for our tacos. So I'll put four of the spears into my blender, which is about a cup, as, as well as one onion that I've cut into chunks, half a cup of orange juice, a quarter cup of white vinegar, one to two chipotle in adobos, and you buy that in a can, about four cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of chili powder, and I like to use ancho, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and one teaspoon of dried oregano, and it's preferable if you use Mexican oregano. Then we're gonna pop on the lid and blend. I'll pour it over our pork, then give it a little toss so that all of the marinade can get in between all of those thinly sliced pieces of pork. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and let it marinate in the fridge for at least four hours. When you're ready to cook, crank up an outdoor grill to high heat, or you can always cook it indoors on the stovetop as well. On one side of the grill, I'm gonna start cooking up all of those slices of pork. And on the other side, I'm gonna grill my pineapple. Really only takes a couple minutes for the pork to grill. It's easy to tell when the pork is done because it looks cooked through. Then you just grab it off the grill. Once your meat's off the grill, you wanna give it a rough chop so it's in nice little bite-sized pieces. And then I'll cut up the pineapple and we are ready to eat. I like to serve mine up on corn tortillas with a little bit of that grilled pineapple, some cilantro, and some thinly sliced red onion. And I like to have a little squeeze of lime. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.